Only on WLWT, a not guilty verdict in the Abby Michaels trial weighing heavily on those close to the Thompson family. Tim Thompson, his wife Karen, and their 10-year-old daughter Tessa were killed after Michaels crashed head on into their car. Tonight, those close to the Thompsons say it's time to reflect on how the Mason family lived their lives and not how they died. WLWT News Live's Karen Johnson is live in Mason's Angel Alley with this story. Karen. And Stephen, for those of you who aren't familiar with Angel Alley, it's here in downtown Mason and it's dedicated to the angels who left us too soon. And among the name on the wall, 10 year old Tessa Thompson. A walk down Angel Alley can stir emotion, but it also brings joy in seeing young loved ones aren't forgotten. Tessa's right there. Wow. Yeah. What a tribute to her. That's beautiful. And all these children. Yep, absolutely. The Thompson family tragedy brought Jim Kelleher and Doug Thorpe together. Jim, a childhood friend of Karen's. She was like a sister I never had. Oh, she was vibrant. Uh, I have a picture here like with her smile and, and her eyes. Her eyes are what really set her apart. Doug met the Thompsons oh, through the daycare Tessa and his son Parker attended. The children found a lot of laughter together whether swimming in the pool. The kids were always swimming, always swimming. Dressing up for Halloween or heading off to St. Susanna. There wasn't a weekend that went by that the families weren't together in some capacity. While the judge's not guilty verdict for the woman who crashed head on with the Thompsons brings more agony to loved ones, Jim and Doug say it's now time to focus on how this family lived their lives. Their memories will never ever fade away. We will always honor and remember them. By remembering the good times, like when Karen, a Cincinnati public school teacher, reconnected two former classmates, or days spent at the pool or sporting events with Tim, a local business professional, and of course, the giggles <laughs> that always seem to surround this little girl. Oh my gosh, he's going under the dog! <laughs> he's going under the dog! <laughs> the laughter that came out of that child was unlike anything you've ever heard. And in addition to Tessa's name being on the wall here at Angel Alley, like I mentioned, she was a student at St. Susanna. They planted a tree in her memory. Reporting live in Mason tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.